This is Antarctica. Antarctica is the coldest, driest and windiest continent. It is also, on average, the highest of all the continents. Antarctica is considered a desert it has yearly precipitation of only 200 mm 8 inches near the sea and far less inland no humans live in Antarctica permanently. About 1,000 to 5,000 people live through the year at the science stations in Antarctica. Only plants and animals that can live in cold live there. The largest animal in Antarctica that lives entirely on land is a wingless. The animals include penguins, seals, nematodes, tardigrades and mites. Plant life includes some grass and shrubs, algae, lichen, fungi, and bacteria. Penguins only live south of the equator. Several different kinds live in and around Antarctica. The biggest ones can stand nearly 4 feet, 1.2 m tall and can weigh almost 100 pounds, 40 kilograms. The smallest kinds are only about 1 foot, 30 centimeters tall. Penguins are large birds that swim very well but cannot fly. They have black backs and wings with white fronts. Their feathers are very tightly packed and make a thick cover. They also have a layer of woolly down under the feathers. The feathers themselves are coated with a type of oil that makes them waterproof. 13. A thick layer of blubber also keeps them warm. Whales are the largest animals in the ocean, and in Antarctica. They are mammals, not fish. That means that they breathe air and do not lay eggs. Many different kinds of whales live in the oceans around Antarctica. Whalers have hunted whales for hundreds of years, for meat and blubber. Nowadays most whaling is done in the Antarctic area. The first known sighting of the continent was in 1820. Penguins eat fish and are at home in the ocean. They come up on the land or ice to lay their eggs and raise the chicks. They nest together in a huge group. Antarctica was mostly forgotten for the rest of the 19th century. This was because of its hostile environment, few resources, and isolation. The first official use of the name Antarctica as a continental name in the 1890s is said to have been used by Scottish cartographer John George Bartholomew. The Antarctic Treaty was signed in 1959 by 12 countries. More countries have signed the treaty since then. So far, 46 countries have signed the treaty. The treaty declares that military activities and mineral mining are against the law. However, it supports scientific research. It also helps the continent's eco-zone. More than 4,000 scientists from different nations and different interests experiment together. Few land plants grow in Antarctica. This is because Antarctica does not have much moisture, water, sunlight, good soil, or a warm temperature. Krill are near the bottom of the food chain, they feed on phytoplankton and to a lesser extent zooplankton. Krill are a food form suitable for the larger animals for whom krill makes up the largest part of their diet.
Plants usually only grow for a few weeks in the summer. However, moss, lichen and algae do grow. The most important organisms in Antarctica are the plankton which grow in the ocean. One important source of food in the Antarctic is the krill, which is a general term for the small shrimp-like marine crustaceans. Whales, penguins, seals, and even some of the birds that live in Antarctica, all depend on krill.
Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more 4K Ultra HD high resolution videos.